A um, Turov check is now uh, three days ago finished. I think it was one of the most unpleasant bike races I did because of a. Uh, I was super motivated. I think the team was super motivated before the start of the race because it's. Um, let's say it's not the highest level race. And um, this gives opportunities. Uh, but it went wrong early on. Of course, uh, the team time trial we crashed quite badly, um, which was not good for the morale and we were hurt, we, we had a lot of uh, pain. Uh, Jay, Rani and me, um, and the day after, the, to be honest, I was after the team time trial not so worried, uh, it was a disappointment because GC was over at that point. I thought let's let's go and win stages, but the day after, I had to get out of bed and my back hurted so much, and I was so struggling on a really easy stage, struggling on the bike. Danny and Jay were exactly in the same spot. Andrea Stockbro he had to abandon the race early on because he had a conclusion before already. It was really, really not perfect. That's also cycling, you have to get through it. In the days after I felt a bit better, but it was a big fight. We were in in a race that is not World Tour, we were just struggling to be there in the final. That's not not really what, what I look forward to. I hope now I, I will be fine for the national championships. It's in uh, eight days from now. Because I was home Monday, I had to do some uh, some X-rays. They decided to do an echo, and then they decided to do a CT scan because I have two small fractures in my spine. And luckily, it's nothing dangerous. I can still keep on riding the bike, but it will be painful for five to six more weeks um, because it's it needs to heal, and some muscles are attached to the places where the the small fractures are so it's not not perfect but it's not a real real big problem i think you can compare it the best with breaking ribs it's not pleasant but you also don't have to stop stop um, stop doing physical activity for that i hope i recover well because fucking the in the team time trial we were doing so well we were we were up there for the win we were like the only team that was competing with Michelton in the intermediate time, other teams were far behind. On Strava you could see we were holding up really well with them. Um, and and uh, I, I personally felt super good. I didn't feel the same legs anymore since the crash, but it's um, kind of normal because I had no recovery. Good thing in the race was we, we had a lot of laughing going on at the dining table, we could laugh with the bad luck we had, I think that's that's also an important thing uh, that you can can let loose uh, what happened um, that was not pleasant and, and still joke about it. Yesterday we have finished the Czech Tour, a race which started with a team time trial. We were really, really motivated for that race, especially for the team time trial. We had a good team for it. Unfortunately, uh, Vitor, Jay Thompson and Rainer Van Rensburg crashed it and they hit the ground pretty hard, so uh, that was affecting also for the next days. Um, it was a shame, uh, we were having a good split times on that team time trial. Uh, we are pretty sure we have been very close to fight for the win together with Michelton. At the end, also that cost us um, not performing at the level we we were ready to for the next days, as the body was uh, very sore for the guys. But yeah, next race is uh, across the corner, and uh, we will fight for it. Hi, I'm uh, I'm Andreas. I'm yeah, I'm sitting at home right now because uh, yeah, I had to I had to leave Czech tour due to a uh, due to a concussion. I got. Uh, I got the week before. Um, yeah, had to had to leave the first race after after coming back from the, from the Corona pandemic. So yeah, I'm not really really in a good mood right now because uh, yeah, I don't know don't know when I'm gonna be back racing and uh, 
it's not that fun to to leave the team behind already already in the in the first race that you've been looking looking forward to for for so long um yeah oh right now i'm feeling feeling better in my in my head but uh yeah we'll have to have to go slowly forward and see see what's what's happening and uh, how i how quick i can uh, i can get back on the bike um yeah but now i'm still still a bit uh, disappointed about leaving uh, yeah, leaving the team behind and uh, yeah, not even being able, yeah, able to help to help in the yeah, in the race but um it's going it's going forward and uh, and i'm hoping to hoping to be back soon so yeah check tour that was a tough one i think it started off well we were on track for a good good result in in stage one but unfortunately we had the crash in the team time trial with victor j and Riney. and from then on they, they were they were pretty banged up so they fought like warriors they rode on uh, but it was clear to see that they were struggling and and they were in some serious pain but they still did their jobs and it's important to show that cycling you often see the victories the champagne on the podium but on the other side of that there is a lot of suffering going on and and this is the job this is what they do so uh yeah i think it's 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 good that riders are honest about that and you see both sides of it well uh good morning everyone uh i'm sending uh, this video well uh to talk a little bit about uh, our experience in the Czech tour. Uh, well, the beginning uh, we were coming from um, Burgos, Volta Burgos and uh, Circuito de Guecho in Spain. So it was a pretty long drive, over 2000 kilometers to, to go to Olomouc, the city where uh, we were staying for the uh, Czech tour. And well, but while we, we did it well, we arrived okay. The unique thing is uh, well, we start the race like normal, do all the job, no problems. And we give our best, like always, but well, things uh, happen and the team has a, a not good crash. Uh, not just one guy, just uh, a few ones. Uh, it was pretty hard to start like this because we were Really excited about the DT with uh, Peter Campenar, Jay Thompson, Rainey, Andreas, Chokbro, Sobrero, like we, Nick, you know, we have a, a team, we were thinking we could do a good team time trial and uh, start like this with a big crash and finishing the last ones, uh, it's hard, but uh, well, we knew we still have uh, strong guys that they always give the, the best and they try, of course they try, but uh, yeah. Now we, we see that uh, they have some injuries. We were working on it. We were helping in the massage tables, all the swannies, giving our best. Of course, they, I think uh, two of them arrive until, until the last days just because we, we all give our best to help and uh, make them uh, yeah, keep going. But it was too, too, too bad luck in, in, in general about the first day. But well, uh, for our side also, the job was pretty nice from the Swanish side. Mm, pretty warm, first day was okay, but then it was going up. But well, uh, we prepared all the ice socks and we were ready for it. Uh, you know, summertime, the season now with all that thing which is happening in the world, uh, it's not easy. So now we have more racing, we, which normally are not in those moments. We are always trying to be ready and yeah, give uh, our best. So let's help, uh, let's, let's wait and hope that all guys recover good after it. It was bad luck, but I'm sure that for some of them it was also a pretty good uh, training. So there are more goals coming and the team is in a really good shape in general. And uh, yeah, just let's go for it. Thank you. Hi everyone. Just a small resume of, uh, of the last week in Czech Tour from a sports director's point of view. Um, 
it didn't went uh, like we thought it would. Um, we had uh, high expectation, especially the first day, um, first dates on the team time trial, where we really was going for the win. Um, we were good. Uh, we had second best split time, two seconds after Middleton. But unfortunately, six Ks to go. Um, yeah, we had uh, some riders touching wheels, and uh, we had a quite big uh, crash with 60 Ks an hour, uh, where Victor went down together with Jay and Reinhardt. And um, yeah, then it was game over on on uh, stage one for us. We finished last. Um, I'm not sure we will have won the, the team time trial, uh, but we definitely would have been close uh, and, and definitely have been around second or third. But yeah, that that crash the first day had a big impact on um, on uh, yeah the last three stages. Uh, the three guys that went down, they, they really had um, sore bodies and <laughs> and had uh, quite a, a lot of pain, and um, we could not really fulfill our our goals and uh, our strategy, but um, like they say in France, c'est la vie, that's cycling. But um, we will fight back. Now uh, the riders will have some, some days recovery and then we will fight back uh, in the next races um, with NTT Pro Cycling, be sure of that. And um, have a continually good evening, bye bye. Hey Vic, I hope you all. Um, as you can see, I just, I just caught up. Um, busy having breakfast um yeah so just a quick update to you about um yeah my personal feeling last week um yeah, it was a hard week i felt pretty tired to be honest um it's been quite a intense three four weeks obviously from the camp and straight from the camp into burgos and straight from burgos into czech tour so um yeah, I mean, for myself, it's been, it's been a really good block. Even though, like, I didn't get enough time to recover in between. But, um, yeah, the fact that I got the block in is, for me, really important. Um, obviously, going forward, um, um, it would be really good. And then also, um, I mean, the check tour was obviously um, not or rather it didn't come as we actually hoped for. And yeah, I mean, we I think we know we can do better. But um, yeah, I mean, there, there, there were quite a lot of things that weren't going right um, during the tour. And obviously I think maybe that's um, one of the things that sort of like kept us on our toes. But um, the fact that we, 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 we kept pushing and uh, Hi everybody, uh, my name is uh, Tim de Donker, Swanee from uh, NTT Pro Cycling and uh, Victor asked me to make uh, a short uh, recap from the, the Tour of Czech, Czech uh, last week. So uh, yeah, I think uh, we started uh, really motivated uh, the goals were clear, everybody was happy to race again. Um, but then, yeah, after 10k already in the team time trial, uh, it went wrong. Uh, I think three or four of the guys crashed. And then they come back to the camp and then you see that they are uh, disappointed. Uh, that they are uh, angry also. Um, so yeah, then you know as this one, as this one, it's gonna be a long night to get them uh, recovered uh, the best as possible with uh, yeah, with food, uh, with the massage, uh, clearing the wounds, and I think uh, also the guys uh, took it really well. The next, uh, the next morning, I think motivation was a little bit, uh, a little bit back to have a good result in one of those uh, stages. And uh, well, for us, as one is, uh, you, yeah, you need to stay professional. You, you 
have to make the food ready you have to make the the bottles every day i think it was every day every day was there 30 degrees so we also had the ice socks uh, 200 300 bottles per day but then yeah you see through the races uh, the impact of the team tram trial the crash uh, was really high so yeah i think uh, after that first uh, real stage, uh, I think everybody was already looking forward to that last stage and that uh, Tour of Czech was uh, finished. The communication was not, was not also really, well, not always clear. So yeah, I think uh, we learned a lot also last week. But for me, uh, the best word to to sum up uh, the whole week was uh, chaos. I think this may be the best word. So yeah, that's what uh, that's a little bit my recap from uh, from the last week. I hope the guys uh, heal fast and. Uh, yeah, it can uh, only get better now. So, looking forward to see it, uh, to see them back and uh, to see them racing again in one of uh, the next races. So, ciao, see you. Hello, I am Kevin Suarez. I am mechanic by Entity Pro Cycling and I am the personal mechanic of Victor Campanarts. Mm. I know Victor already is five years, I think. Uh, the first time that I was working with him together was uh, for the European Championship uh, in 2016. Uh, he was finishing second. After that, I work again together um, the next European Championship. Uh, he was champion. Uh, it was in, uh, in Herning, Denmark. And uh, for me, the most uh, exciting uh, championship was uh, in Glasgow. Because I was working uh, a lot of his bike, making marginal gains. And uh, he won. Uh, the title after 50 kilometers with only uh, zero upon six nine second I think so the marginal gains maybe makes the difference so it was really excited and now uh, I have the chance to work together with him every race almost but also for uh, other rider of course I was uh, this week uh, in the uh, Czech Republic for a tour of Czech. Um, yeah, the first uh, the first day was Team Time Trail. We were uh, bad lucky with a crash with three riders. I was uh, looking that from the car behind. It was going so fast. Yeah, shit happens, like you said. But uh, yeah. Uh, after that, it was uh, difficult to, to make a good result to rather uh, with injuries, including Victor, the leader of the team. So, yes, uh, I had a little bit of work on the bikes. That's my work, so shit happens. But now let's go to to nationals, I have some time to recover, the back will be better and I go to nationals and let's try and beat the superhumans, Wout van Aert and Remco Evenepoel. It will be super hard but I can go for it.